They go on and on about inclusivity, right? Inclusivity, name of the game. Like, that's what we want. That's what we need. And then they go out and they get this, this woman from Miss Alabama. Miss Alabama, take a look. Um, technically, this is not Miss USA or Miss America. This is some other offshoot. There's like a zillion pageants out there, but the only two you really need to care about are Miss America and Miss USA. People will use this Miss Alabama name, but she's not one of the authentic <clears throat> original pageant system holder, title holders. So she's obviously... If you're watching this, you can see her there in the picture from the Daily Mail. She's obviously larger than what you would normally see as a quote unquote beauty queen. But when people said, hey, whoa, wait a second, like, you know, elephant in the room. Um, <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean that to be so literal. And I'm sure she's a lovely woman. And you know what? Pageants do a lot of good things for a lot of people, but you know what? Like health matters, right? The swimsuit competition. It was originally about swimsuits. Now it's about health. I think they actually got rid of swimsuit at Miss America. Now it's like athletic wear or something. Like you actually need to be healthy. Like that is an important part of taking ownership for yourself. All right. Just like you need to take care of your finances and you take care, you take care of yourself, right? Like we're a very independent society and, and we should be, and we should value health. And I'm sorry, and I don't mean to be overly critical. You know me. I'm a very kind and empathetic person. It is not healthy to be that way, right? It's one of the reasons why we have Balance of Nature as one of our um, sponsors on the program, because I take my fruits and veggies every day, my, my vitamins, because it's an important part of me being healthy. And, and you can too. Go to balanceofnature.com, 35% off. If you use code word Trish Plus, you get the fiber and spice supplement. But th the point being, you guys, that she's overjoyed. She wins this crown. Great. People are like, hate to say it, but this is emperor has no clothes. This woman doesn't really look like she belongs in the pageant. But how about this? Maybe it's not about her. Maybe it's not about the two young women, Miss USA and Miss Teen USA. Maybe it's about the organization and the leaders at the organization that all have some vision for themselves. You think about the transgender that bought Miss Universe. Miss USA is a franchise. Miss Teen USA is a franchise. It's like being a McDonald's owner, right? And like you got the head McDonald's corporate office. So Miss Universe is the big corporate office. And then you get all the countries that pay money to be part of the system, but the contestants, this was always also a difference between Miss USA and Miss America, the contestants also pay to be in the competition. So it's a business. And the woman, the transgender person that, that runs the whole shebang, she was actually quoted saying this. The guys, let's, let's play this because this is very interesting. This is a, a special tape recording that somehow Vox got a transgender who's going on and on and on and on about inclusivity. This is different than the Layla woman. This is Layla's boss, effectively. Actually is quoted in this article saying the following. Let me pull it up for you because it's actually pretty darn startling. Oh, here we go. Drew has it. Okay. So there is this board meeting and the transgender who runs the whole thing says about other trans people and other women that are heavy or women with husbands or divorced women's, they cannot win. Wow. Whoa. So it's all a facade. Goes back to Vivek. Vivek Ramaswamy saying, this is nothing but woke capitalism. They're all just trying to make money, right? Like they want marketing. So the owner of the Miss Universe organization can be heard on this tape, this tape that was given to Vox saying, and I quote, the trans women, the women with husbands, divorced women, they cannot win. Quote, this is a communication strategy because you understand they can compete, but they cannot win. We just put the policy out there. Social inclusion, as people would say. <laughs> Ah, oh, now we get it. Now we get it. It's all a big ruse. None of it's actually meaningful, except for 
you know, the, the poor girl who enters, like Miss Alabama, thinking that she actually won the thing, when actually it was just a marketing tactic so that we would talk about this? National America Miss, that's the name of the pageant, National America Miss. So now you know what the National America Miss is because somehow this poor woman was used because I suspect there's a similar sentiment, right? Just like we heard from the Miss U Universe director, they cannot win. I mean, they can win on the state level. They can compete. In fact, you had Miss Spain competing, who is not a naturally born whim woman. Compete. I mean, it's, it's gotten too far. It's just crazy. And I think like we all see through it. Okay. We just all see through it. Back in my day, I'm aging myself again. It's kind of like the Fonzie reference yesterday. Back in my day, I had to sign a contract saying that I was a naturally born woman. This is like over 30 years ago. Okay. That I was a naturally born woman and I had to give them my birth certificate. I'll never forget this. I, I still, I was like, this is weird. This is like really, really weird stuff. But they were ahead of their time. Clearly, clearly knew they knew what they were doing in Miss America. They were way ahead of the curve because they knew what was coming. They knew 30 plus years ago what was in store. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Think about that. What's going to happen in the next 30 years? Really? I mean, what is going to happen in the next 30 years? I'm going to make a little prediction here. I'm going to go out on a limb. I think that the pendulum is going to swing back, hopefully to the center, right? Where we're going to be more respectful of one another. We're going to appreciate one another. We're not going to have a cancel culture on steroids. But in the interim, if that's how it's going to be, then that's how it's going to be, which is why you're going to see this rising up of more and more opportunities for conservatives directly directed at conservatives, like, for example, the TXSE, Texas Stock Exchange. So go take that, CNN.